We are watching a flood of reaction pouring in after this last night at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The entire Indiana Fever team locking arms and kneeling during the national anthem. The first full professional team protest around the country. Take a look at this just posted to Facebook by Fever player Marissa Coleman. She says she has close family friends that have served this country. My brother-in-law fought for this country. My boyfriend was in the Navy. My dad is a retired police officer. I would never disrespect them or devalue their service. She goes on to say the bigger disrespect to this country and those who fight for it is staying silent on these issues that plague African Americans and people of color. How about reaction from fans? RTV6's Derek Thomas has that part of our coverage. Every single Indiana Fever player took a knee. The team displayed unity, but the people who witnessed it are far from unified. I don't support anyone, including the fever, that doesn't respect our flag. Uh, my son and my husband were veterans, and it's disrespectful to all the veterans. Uh, I think it's kind of a slap in the face to them. Not so, says Milton Thompson, a former sports agent and current sports attorney. He says kneeling means they are standing tall for the country. I think that speaks highly towards their patriotism because they care enough about some of the issues that are going on in the country. Those issues include black men being shot and killed by police. Rather than rioting like in Charlotte, they are conducting a peaceful protest. I think it's a poor reflection on the athletes. So no matter how passionate they are about this issue, uh, you don't think they should be doing it? Correct. The reasons that they were protesting are still happening. Uh, a couple of incidents we had uh, the past couple of days. So, you know, there's a reason for it, and uh, I don't have a problem with it. San Francisco 49er backup quarterback Colin Kaepernick started this protest tactic, and a Women's Sports Foundation board member, Jamer Meyer, suspected women would join the fray. Women sports figures have been seeking equality, whether it's equality in opportunities, equality in pay, and, and, and now it's equality in voice. Um, they're stepping up and making their um, views on social issues known, and they're doing it in a way that um, the men have been doing. The fever season is over, so we don't know what is next in the protest playbook. The offseason could be filled with soul searching and new strategies. Derek Thomas, RTV6. And this just in from Pacers Sports and Entertainment. A statement that says, in part, while Pacers Sports and Entertainment believes that our players should follow WNBA protocol, which is to stand respectfully during the anthem, we also understand that they have the right to have their voices heard. We are very proud of our role in serving the community in Indianapolis, and it is our hope going forward that we can collaborate with the players in a positive way, create opportunities for meaningful discussions, and contribute to a stronger, safer, and more unified community.